The day is bright and beautiful. Oh, happy day of joy. How are you? <laughs> uh, today we have news. Now you know the title of the video and uh, I've just been asking myself, is it really possible that this story is true? If that is the question you have in your mind before coming in to watch this video, I'm going to lay down some facts for you as well. Please keep your sentiments aside. I'm warning again. As we look at the news that Isaac Oyedepo has decided to resign from his father's ministry to start up his own. How true is it? Is it true? Is it not true? Those of you that are members of Finance Chapel, why is it that you people are even asking this question? You should be inside as you should know better than me. Anyway, I'm on the outside, so you can fault what I'm saying or whatever. But let's look at the facts. Welcome to this platform in case you're watching me for the first time. I'm Fambu George. Not the George that judges cases. So my name is George. G-E-O-R-G-E. -E. In a video that has been trending recently on social media, many blogs, reputable blogs and even news sites have reported about this. This is a video that is circulating where in an interview where Isaac Oyedepo and David Oyedepo Jr. were sitting together called The Bridge. Very intelligent interview. I sat down to watch it. Probably I'll discuss a couple of things that we'll discuss on that interview much later. When he was asked to introduce himself, this is what he had to say. And this particular clip is what is being circulated as a proof that he has resigned from the ministry to start up his own. Let's listen to it together. Just tell us. Who is Pastor Isaac? Oh, yeah, the wow. Um, mm -hmm. Well, Isaac Oedipo is the person, not the pastor. Okay. Um, so first of all, I, I'd want to say I'm a child of God. I think that's where I want to start before being called of God. First, a child of God. Um, secondly, a youth. Um, I don't see this as a discussion for a generation, but my generation. So um, I'm a youth in every way, um, but also one that strongly believes in the assignment that God has given to me uh, to reclaim a generation and to ensure that this generation ends up seeing the fire of God, Amen. revival in our generation. Amen. And so um, I, I would also say a learner, um, the one that doesn't learn every day is slowly dying. Mm -hmm. um, and so I, I see myself as a keen observer, one that wants to know why things are done the way they are done and to keep improving that way. Uh, I think in a nutshell, that is who you ask me <laughs> <laughs> who I am. Wonderful. I don't know if you were paying attention like being real George does pays attention. But if this is being circulated as the defining principle or the defining fact to why he is not part of winners, or would I say why he has resigned, you have to ask yourself a question. Where is the source of this information? Have you even asked yourself that question? Very good. So the source has to be so repeatable that the repeatable blogs are also reposting about it as a true fact. So I'm going to help you understand what is going on right here. The source of this information is actually from the church gist. You see, many of you hate me with passion because anytime you see my face and God, no be me decide this thing, you know, now just circumstances make them happen like that. I'm seen as the one that used to tear down churches, the one that used to give pastors woto woto. But what I'm saying is true. <laughs> now, there's a particular platform called Church Gist. They mainly post about gists that happen in church. <laughs> it's just the same thing now. Just that for me, I don't do copy and paste yet. Mm -mm. I post the gist and then I also come and then give you commentary and break that particular gist down so that you have sense for those who don't have sense in that. But I know my unique audience here are very intelligent people. That's why I love my audience a lot. Passerbys, how are you? Welcome to the platform. So Church Gist posted this particular news themselves and that is where it is spreading out. But who is the one that runs Church Gist? Paul does NG says the person that runs churches is this particular man you see on your screen, Pastor Leke Beecroft, a long-term pastoral assistant at Living Faith Church headquarters in Ota, Ogun State. But most of the time they just get to post church gist. Very good. 
So understanding the personality that is in charge of this particular platform posting about this should give you an idea that this is more of like an internal situation that only became a public conversation and this particular video you have watched right now is just a way to paint it that this is what has actually happened and from the way he got to introduce himself is just for you to know that indeed he has an assignment that he is now pioneering and let me tell you my dear friends some of us too are insiders yes of course this is not something that started as at october 25th that you heard about it since this year i think around february thereabout isaac oyedepo has been doing very well when it comes to his uh, ministry and campus ministry to be precise moving from campuses to campuses and he's also, he's also been doing crusades as well moving with the likes of uh, joshua selman michael oropo and many others as well who are also young people that you would know as a firebrand when it comes to ministry as you understand you will not know this but of course with the pictures i'm showing you on the screen you will understand that of course i've been watching things going on in the church hi god why be saying at church matter where we say at the talk like this can't get energy I god <laughs> anyway moving on right here what you have to understand here is that it's not just a sudden thing but he has been preparing himself and carrying out this particular mandate that you heard him talk about for the young people or would i say with respect to revival I li now let me tell you some facts about the person of isaac oyedepo probably you don't know if you are meeting him for the first time on my platform first of all right here he's the second son of bishop david oyedepo founder of the living faith church popularly known as winners chapel one isaac was appointed the national youth pastor of the youth alive fellowship the youth arm of the living faith church in september if he just became the national youth pastor in september of the ministry why would he be leaving at this point? Probably because of what he has been doing over time, he was now given the position only to realize that him giving that particular position as a national youth pastor may not actually be what he wants and he has been planning to start his own ministry. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? But let's go on. Isaac was ordained pastor of Living Faith Church by American preacher Kenneth Copeland in May 2007. When you talk about the Copeland family and then the Oyedepo family, they are like Siamese twins. Like when it even comes to Bishop, that is uh, prosperity. <laughs> that is where he learned it from. <laughs> and let me not go there because if I start now, we people who want to you people you want to tear my clothes in the comments. But I came with my bulletproof. No matter the shot you fire, one name. <laughs> oh God! Give me the courage to insult back anybody that insults me. Amen. Anyway, let us continue right here. He was the residence pastor of Winners Chapel International in Maryland, USA. That is where he was talking about him bearing Bibles. But I don't want to go there now. It is past tense. Moving on right here as well. He got married to Ayet Ayotomide Omblogantanka. I cannot pronounce the name very well. In 2010, I can beat him in this particular video now. He was born in 1985. Why am I giving you these facts? Because from this particular fact here, was beginning to give me clues as to why this particular news might be true. First of all, let's go to Church Gist. You see, when Church Gist posted about this and it's being reported everywhere, I am also in the Church Gist Telegram channel where it was posted also. And then people were saying fake news, fake news, fake news. Then somebody said this in that particular channel. Pope Godwin said here in the group, please don't assume news. Please verify before publishing it. You are talking to the source of the news. You are telling the person to go and verify. Do you know who is the person that is in charge of that particular platform? And then Church Gist Admin said here, you will be removed now for busybody. So I think he has removed the person from that particular group. Uh, me, if you come here and you bury him too much, one now, it's a block in Chapel Hill. So you understand what I'm saying now? But even moving further, I was like, should I just take what uh, Church Gist is saying for it? Let me dig deeper to understand what is going on. Then I went into my dear friend as well, uh, Isaac Oedipo's Telegram channel, you know, sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. You know, you have to, when you are doing investigation, you have to make sure you, you know, try to present the facts that will lead to a conclusive understanding of what is going on. So when I checked in, he has his own Telegram channel too. In case you want to join, you can go and join. The Telegram channel is called, again, 
Chere godi kan cheke of mama of mama ka. Iwan ada amacha amacha. And before we get there, remember what I always tell you about this whole tribe thing that has been happening in the church lately. Like this tribe, this tribe, this tribe. Aha. Uh -huh. So when you look at him talking about in that particular interview about him being, you know, his generation and all that good he also has a tribe this is the logo you can follow them on instagram some things have been in the works as well it's not say this is just a new thing that is just happening overnight it's not as if you just wake up and say oh i am resigning or i have resigned I'm resigning or i have resigned i am resigning or i have resigned now there is nowhere note there is nowhere where it is publicly stated that he came out and said okay i have resigned okay i'm, I'm now starting my own thing i think right now there's going to be like that gradual process even though he's been doing something since from the beginning of the year though he's been doing something since from the beginning of the year but for this particular news to be coming from churches it's more of like it's already happened it's already been happening just that it became probably official as at the time that particular news itself came out i don't know if you understand but don't look at this particular resignation or quote and unquote separation to be more of like come on this is a father and son thing this is like a family i won't say if, okay we have talked about this before and said family business and all that but when i when i say business you know what i mean now i'm doing the business of my father you can mean the other thing but let me just use it in the spiritual way before we start fighting in the comments so what you have to understand right here is that it's not as if there is this oh yeah don't leave why how dare you leave uh, you don't leave my church or this no 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 Probably, if you were not listening very well, him going forward with the mandate that he says God has given him. Remember what Bishop Abioye said one time about the mandate of the ministry, Winners Chapel. Listen to this. Why is it that in your church they don't talk about, um, you know, rapture? It's not that we don't believe it, but we are not sent to preach it. It's not everything you believe you preach. Everyone is assigned to a particular way, to a particular assignment. Why is it that we don't preach about hellfire? Don't we believe it? Believe it very well. Satan and all who follow him will go there. But we are not sent to preach it. God's servant sometimes ago went to Japan and the need there was obvious. On his way coming back, he started drawing curriculum for Bible school. And when he arrived, God told him, even though there is a need in Japan, you are not the one I'm sending there. Jurisdiction. Jurisdiction. You are not sent to everywhere. You are sent to limited places. Very good. Now, I'm not using this, I'm not using this as a contrast, but you have to understand something. When you are pastoring under a particular ministry, you are tuned in line with the vision, mission, modus operandi of that ministry. I've said this thing many times. Unada anuye. That's why you see that some churches behave in a particular way. If you go to Christ Embassy, some things are just Christ Embassy. If you go to Winners, some things are just Winners. So if you go to uh, Redeem, some things are just redeem, re, re, redeem, Redeemified. Every church has a unique pattern. If you go to a Catholic church, some things are just Catholic. If you go to an Orthodox church, some things are just Orthodox. You understand? So when it comes to the Winners Chapel, there's also a system. Nad Raven Hill said, if you want to be popular, preach happiness. If you want to be unpopular, preach holiness. It is a clear line of division. And today's generation wants to be happy and want to think they are happening when God is not happy, when God is not pleased. Holiness. What is a revival? A revival is a move of the spirit across all age groups culminating in diverse supernatural turnarounds. All age groups covered. That's a revival. The Hebrews revival on the island of Lewis. All age groups were involved from the 84 year old to the 15 year old. That's a revival. A revival where a certain group is left out is not one. When the spirit of God begins to move according to Joel chapter 2 verse 28 to 29. Your young man shall see visions. Your old man shall dream dreams. Nobody left aside. 
Father, in the name of Jesus, as we await this revival, revival, not in a month, as we await it, as we await it, as we await it, all age groups shall be covered. I see people in children's church laying hands on the sick, and the sick begins to recover. Shout amen if you are there. So him resigning and then talking about the mandate of God upon his life is more of like saying that he has an assignment. Every pastor that is in Winner's Chapel, you have the assignment. The assignment you have as a pastor there is assignment on the ministry, which is in line with the call of the geo. You don't go outside that particular boundary. You being in that particular ministry puts you on the confines of what itself should be the modus operandi of that particular ministry, whether you like it or yes. I didn't say it. It is what Bishop himself said. So you don't, you, you will not come and start be preaching about hell, heaven and hell. Yeah. Are you normal? They believe in it, of course. You, you watching me that is a winner's member, you believe in it. Yeah. But you, you don't preach about it. So it's more of like, uh, don't my major on the minor. We, we, we major on the major, which is the prosperity and all that. Did you hear me say it before you say that I'm now criticizing church? But I, 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 do you understand what I'm saying right now? So him, talking about his own mandate is more of like saying that he has a burden on him that this is what God has called him to do when it comes to the pastoral ministry and him stepping aside or would I say moving championing his own course would mean that probably it will not be the normal uh, modus operandi of where he has always been so there's nothing wrong with that it's not as if there's a, a, a struggle or something do you understand? But one thing you have to know is that by virtue of the fact of relevance by association, <laughs> those who hate me using this particular term, you know, they verse now. By virtue of his connection, by virtue of his lineage as well, he, he is backed up, he is supported. The name itself speaks for itself. And that's one thing you have to understand. I wish him very well. Do you understand? I wish him wonderfully well. He's already been doing this, you know, he's been, and you see, he, he's going to the field. Look at him here. That is him there at, is it, I forgot now, with the young people, and he's doing crusades, he's going, he's, come on, we, we, he's going to the field, he's, he's associating with the other people. Maybe tomorrow now, we will start hearing of him, like how we hear of the, you know, uh, 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 Joshua Sermon, Michael Oropo, and then he's just going to be a tag as well, Isaac Oyedepo. Just that may all the tax, may it be good news. Amen. <laughs> you know, me, I'm, I don't look for news or people to criticize. Or Shebi, it is still, now, this particular news, Shebi is just this that brought it. Some people are angry now. Their stomach is paining them now that I'm talking about this. And you are still watching me. <laughs> but to my people, I don't know if you are getting the point now. So even from his Telegram as well, going through his Telegram and seeing what he's been doing, I think with the community and tribe he has built as well, he has a good support system of people who follow him as well. So when he's even doing what he's doing, either as Ignite or either as um, the Crusade Thy Kingdom Come or whatever he's doing as well, I don't know, but I don't think, I don't know if at this point he has his own church as a location or he's just wanting to follow the pattern that I've seen many of these apostles or many of these young, trendy men of God follow. You know, sometimes it always starts from university campuses. It's in the campuses you get the young people. It's in the campuses sometimes you get to build the workforce. It's in the campuses you get to catch them. You get to build a, a community as well because those ones are just there waiting. You go there and do crusade. You get to meet them, gather them from there. You get to build a community. It's in the campuses you get to also build, uh, what I say, I'm not saying build a name, but gr grow attention. I don't know if you understand. Like campuses, youth coppers, those things, because they are the ones watching me now. Those educated ones, those um, enlightened ones are the ones that you know to a great extent i'm not saying that the ones that need god the most but of course they are the ones that become the driving power when it comes to the movement of ministry as well the youth the young people are the ones that get to make things you know you know move to the permanent side so when you go when you are going reaching out to them as well i think it's also great that because that is also where we have many people lose their lives as well in in in, in whatever happens in school maybe for me i was privileged that throughout school myself i was i was active when it comes to ministry i would say so my life was pretty much very much in a particular direction 
okay but there are many people that are in school that what they are doing is oh my god <laughs> you understand but I, I understand where his passion and where his drive comes from when it comes to you know for his generation <clears throat> do you understand so where it even makes more sense right here is that i think his instagram page now is uh uh, let me see here on Instagram. So let's do the investigation together. So I went to mommy's, his wife's page. Wait a minute. I think something has gone on. I, I, is it not his? Uh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Because I was wondering, how does this uh, Azal generation, how does it now get to become, uh, have 78,000 followers? And I, I am just knowing about it now. It's either he converted his own page to this particular generation which I'm looking at it right now. I think it now begins to make sense. He converted his own page, which is now making it look so realistic. He converted his own personal page because if I click here on the, let me do screen recording of what I'm saying here. You can also go and verify this thing now. Hmm? You see, if I click, this is the Azal generation now. If I click here, I don't know if he converted it. So let me see, if I click on that link there now, he say he show me something. Look at he say here the Isaac, the the Isaac Oyedepo, and that is a proof his profile that I see there. Do you understand? Let me check here Instagram. If I click on the Instagram icon there, let me see what he's going to show me. If he's going to show me, hey, maybe his own because I'm not seeing his own account again. Let me see here. It does not exist again, no. Probably, I hope his name will not come and become Apostle Isaac Oyedepo. What do you think about that? Is his name going to be Apostle Isaac Oyedepo or his name is going to remain Pastor Isaac Oyedepo? I don't know because he's on an apostolic mission and now he's ruling with apostles. I'm not saying that he's, he's not okay for. I'm just saying, I, I don't know if you understand. So we might see tomorrow now that his name would be Apostle Isaac Oyedepo based on, uh, but he still remains here pastor based on his uh, profile here but we are going to be checking so that we'll be sure so this account might have actually have been his personal account that has now been converted to the i don't know but i think that is it here i don't know if you understand so by changing him changing his own name on instagram to this particular uh mandate he has it begins to make sense why this particular insinuation is um propagated but you could tell me what you think in the comments I'm, I'm going further right now i'm still checking to be sure and then i'm just going down the account here to to see what is happening so uh, you, you are seeing with me and what do you think i think about the situation like i told you i don't i don't see anything wrong with him uh starting his own ministry i see nothing wrong with that uh him leaving the father's ministry doesn't mean that he has he has left he has left Christianity or something. He's still a Christian. He's still doing the work of God. But now he has his own personal mandate. Others can be on the mandate of the ministry of um, the father, uh, Winner's Chapel. Uh, but with his own ministry as well, he has to, you know, uh, carry the fire of God and then move to the permanent site. I, I, I love, I love, I love the, the, the children of God. I love, I love the, I love the work of God. I love what is going on in the body of Christ. And this right here is very wonderful. Please tell me what you think in the comments. Let me let me let me start practicing how to close my eye. Tell me what you think in the comments, one. Till I see you next time. Take care of yourself and one. Bye bye.